subscribers I'm back again got another crazy horror movie for y'all it was off the chain I really enjoyed it I loved it it scared the crap out of me and I'm not getting no sleep this place is not a home home this this movie is really good it's home directed by Frank Lynn written by Jeff Lamb Frank Lynn starring Heather Leggenkamp Samantha Mumba, Carrie Cope, and Alessandra Shelby Farmer. This movie was really good. The jump scares was highly effective, which is rare in movies nowadays. Because, you know, when people try to jump scare you, you kind of hear the music leading up to it. But not this movie. The jump scares just, you know, and it, it gets you. And ain't no question about that. It definitely gets you. But the movie starts off with the married couple moving in a new house. Um, she had um, Heather has her daughter there. Her, her daughter wants to, you know trying to get herself together so she's living with her mom for a while but she's trying to deal with the fact that her mom is married to another mom which makes them a lesbian couple and she's trying to deal with that and um samantha you know she's they sitting at the, the, the table and everything and carrie's saying a prayer but you know saying grace before she eat and it pissed off samantha because you can tell samantha face just changed right away like really but she didn't say really. It's just, it just the way her face looked. And you see Heather like, oh my God, like why is this happening right now? So Samantha ended up pulling up Heather saying that you really, you know, really need to talk to your daughter because, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't believe in that stuff in this house. We don't, we don't play that in here. And Heather's like, okay, I'll talk to her. I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, I'll talk to her. You know, she just stand here for a little bit. You know, I just want everybody to get along. And next thing you know... <laughs> That just was just, just really pissed off. They got into a little argument, but they got through it. So the next day, it's, you see Tia, which is she is such an adorable little girl. When she, she, yeah, I mean, so she was pretty. awesome in this movie. Like I said, the acting in this movie, everybody nailed their part. It's it, they made it believable. It was not one dull moment in this movie. You see Tia, she's acting out. She's like, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. And next thing you know, like Samantha's like, you know what? I just can't do it. Heather's like, please, Carrie, could you please take her to school? Could you please? So Carrie takes her to school, and then Carrie ends up hanging out with her boyfriend and then hung out with him too much to the point where she lost time and then tried to get to Tia's school to pick Tia up, but it was horribly late. And next thing you know, she gets home. She walks to the house like, man, I hope she's here. I hope she's in the house. And next thing you know, Samantha runs to her like, hey, uh, where's Tia? And uh, she's like, um, isn't she here? I thought I thought one of you guys picked her up because she wasn't at the school. She said, well, did you check in the check in the building? She's like, yeah, but she didn't check in the building. She just looked outside, didn't see outside, and went in the house. So next thing you know, they didn't see Tia. So Samantha's like, okay, give me the keys. I, just give me the keys. So she goes to the door, and there goes Samantha. And the teacher brings her home, and he's like, you know, um, you should like I did. I'm, this is not my place, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, and next thing you know, like Tia gets to the household. Both um, Heather and Samantha went on a trip. So now we have Samantha. I mean, now we have Carrie and Tia. Now this is where the movie gets interesting because once the parents is out of the picture, this is where the movie really gets interesting. That so they both at this house, and the house, you know, an older guy died at the house. You can see like this really weird ass painting of him and a puppet sitting there like this. <laughs> You just see the painting sitting there, and it is, it does look creepy. It looks unsettling a lot. It really looks weird. It's like, why the hell is that there? But next thing you know, like like weird things were happening in the house. Like like when Carrie was like kind of like unpacking her shit, you can hear something inside her walls, and the way it sounds, like it, it sounds so disturbing that if that shit was me right now in the middle of this interview, I will easily. Tell my wife, shut the damn camera off. Tell my daughter, I don't give a fuck if we in their underwear. We're rolling out the door. Because we're gone. But the way that shit sound, you definitely knew something was wrong with that house. And that house is extremely creepy. I mean, stuff will fly out the cabinets. The TV will turn on and off. Like, this movie is off the chain. Like I said, what I'm saying in my mouth is nothing compared to when you see this movie. But before I get any further, let's get this movie ready, shall we? This movie, two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. Everybody was absolutely awesome. I mean, even down to the girl plays Tia. Like, she just, she just a show stealer. She's a little show stealer. I hope to see you in more movies. And and Heather Langenkamp, like Langenkamp, I'm sorry for messing your name up. It's Langenkamp. 
I love you. I just want to let you know I love you. I, I've, I've followed you ever since Nightmare on Elm Street, so I'm not a creep. I just love you in movies. And when you give a performance, you give a performance. And, like, she she was awesome in this movie. Um, let me just go down the line. I'm going to just give huge shout-outs to Franklin. Hello, Franklin. You was awesome, man. Good direct. I love the way, you know, the camera angles and everything in this movie. Good job on that. Good job on writing. Um, I'd like to shout-out Jeff Lamb. Give a shout-out to Heather Langenkamp. Samantha Mumba, Carrie Cope, Alessandra Shelby Farmer, Aaron Hill, Law Temple, Allison DeHostrum, De uh, Lou Glenn, and Otto Benzina. Like I said, everybody nailed their part. The movie was really good. The acting was good. The horror was right where it needed to be. I've never watched a movie where the jump scare is actually effective, but the jump scare in this movie was so effective that it made the hair stand up on my skin. This movie is scary as shit, and I, I'm sorry, but it is. It's extremely scary. I'm scarred, so I won't get no sleep tonight. So thanks a lot for that, Franklin and, and Jeff Lamb. Thanks a lot. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this movie, Home, because I told you what I thought about it. I really loved it. It got my highest rating. I highly recommend it, and I recommend it to everyone. And to all my movie lovers, I love you. Anyway, if you want to know how you can see this movie, if you go on Amazon Prime, you can see this movie for free. But if you don't have Amazon Prime, I think it's like, what, $14, $12.99, something like that? Yeah, like $3. But the movie is worth it. It's definitely worth it's worth your buck. I'm telling you, you're going to get a bang for your buck. The movie is that good. I loved it. It was awesome. And like I said, guys, to all my movie lovers, I love you.